Hi everyone with Self Club Nation. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Clevy and it is so nice to meet you. You guys, after I checked out this video right here from Marvel Thailand, whew, it's packed up a whole lot of conversations. I had to learn a lot yesterday. And actually, that was actually even the purpose of the video. If you guys remember in that video, I said I love videos like that because the conversations are never ending. We get to learn, we get to unlearn, you know, some certain things. And a lot of you also recommended that you check out this video. Remember that that video was entirely in Thai. It was the title was in Thai. It was spoken in Thai. However, a lot of you said that this is in English. So I get to understand it further. And I cannot wait to check this out with you guys. If you're ready, smash the like button. Join the family, join the squad by clicking on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss whenever I upload a video, guys. Don't forget to watch to the end of the video to find out if you are today's shout out. All right, guys, in three, two, one. I'm ready, and I hope you are too. Let's go. Ooh. The people of the world should know the truth. Okay. That the Cambodians are trying very hard to claim Thai culture. Hello, see you again with white. That's the Thai Global. too. For this clip, I intend to make it. In order to let the world know that. Nowadays, Cambodians are trying very hard. To claim Thai culture as their own whether it's Thai costumes, Thai boxing, oh, really? Thai food, Thai folk dramas. Everything that Thai people try hard, create and development from our ancestors. Until it is known to the whole world, but the Cambodians claim to own it, claiming to be original, and accuse Thai people of being thieves. That Aha, yes. This, you see this line? I saw it a lot in the comment section. A lot of you were like, you know, and it, it's a lot of things. Some people said they actually don't have any problem. Okay, some Thai people in the comment section were like, they actually don't have any problem with you, you know, drawing inspiration and even copying. Some people didn't even seem to have that as a problem. But their own problem was now when you want to claim that it is yours. That, that, that alone was their problem. And some people were like, also, um, Thailand were ruling, you know, Cambodia at some point in history. Right, if I if Google Translate is not messing with me because I had to like click on Google Translate to read a lot of you guys' comments. So somewhere like uh, that, Thailand originally were really Cambodia, and so it makes sense, you know, that Cambodia would want to have similar cultures, similar traditions to Thailand because I mean Thailand was ruling them at some point. I saw others that gave you the name Cambodia, Cambodia. You know, a lot of people were like. Don't call us, don't call us thieves. We owned this thing. You can't come and steal from me and call me the thief. I think that was what I love. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> I stole Cambodian culture. I want you guys to look at some facts. Okay. So that you guys can understand the preliminary information first. Please watch this video. Why the guests of the city with the most levels of importance. Cambodians still wear only sampot clothes. Come out to welcome the guests of the city town every time. Why is there not a single Cambodian? Wear Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. Come out welcome the guests of the city. In spite of always claiming that. Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. That Cambodians wear nowadays is their national. Which is different from Thai people. That's Dressed a point. In Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. Came out to welcome the guests of the city all a long time. Mm. Because the Thai dress, wrapped in sabai is the national costume of Thailand. Mm. That has been with Thai people for hundreds of years. Mm. Once you've seen the facts you try to ask yourself that. If it is your country, you will welcome the guests of the city. With, with your the costume. national costume of your country. Exactly. Will you use the national costume of another country. Come to welcome you the guests of the city. Okay, that is point one. <laughs> I love this. Ah, oh, God, I love this. Thank you. Shout out to everyone who recommended that you check out this video. I owe you. I owe you a big one. Yes. This is another. This is. Please, let's go ahead. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Let's go. I am there. I am reading. I am responding. Let's do that. So this is a this is this is a valid question. 
normally if a stranger, if a foreigner should come into Nigeria, you would see all of our attires. I mean, you would see the Yorubas, you would see the FX, you would see the Bibios, you would see the Awosas. Everyone will come out in their different cultural clothes to come and what? Greet the new guest. Trying to display your culture and what you have. And so, if you claim <laughs> that this cloth is yours, dating far back, why would you come out to greet guests in another clothes? I mean, I mean that's that's the point where it, that day is the day you want to even that is the day you should even want to show off, right? That should be the day you should, should want to show off with your with your costume, with your national costume. But instead, you were wearing something else. And the people who originally had it, right, wore, I mean Thailand now, wore what they know, what they have, and what they own. You wore something else. But now, fast forward to present time, you're now saying that the costume worn by someone else was yours. Let's make it make sense now. Let's, let's make it make sense. I, I want to really see a lot of Cambodians in the comment section. I want to see all of you. Like, come out. I want you to talk. I saw, I saw a lot of them too in the comment section. This is a this is good, and I love the fact that no one is insulting anyone. Everyone is just going back and forth and saying their minds. Cambodians, let's know. And if if you have your own video to support your claim, send it to me. I will come back here and watch it. Come on, let's do that. Now you guys probably understand that national costume of Thai people with the national costume of Cambodia. Can you see what they were different? Can you see what and they were here wearing? Is another example. That oh. Cambodians try to claim Thai culture as their own culture, most shamelessly. A short video clip of two to three <laughs> minutes. The person who made this video. Watch. Nice. I love I love the music. What's going on? Are they visiting the temple? This is so pretty. What's that thing called? I saw in that picture, in the other one, I saw a lot of people holding that. It's like a bag or something. A lot of people hold that to snap pictures. That means this 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 has been going on for long. This video is like eight months ago. How means this has been happening since. Oh. Is this like some marital rights? Okay. This clip, Cambodians named the clip as is a Khmer, Cambodian, woman in Longvek, which corresponds to the Ayutthaya period of Thailand, the dress of the Cambodian people in the Longvek period. It's a picture on the left side, okay. the dress of Thai people in the Ayutthaya period, 
It's the picture on the, on the right, right hand side. Yeah. Thai people to wear Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. Mm -hmm. The dress of the girl in this video clip. Dressed in Thai dress, wrapped in sabai in Ayutthaya style. <laughs> Hairstyle that of Thai women in the Ayutthaya period. The overall atmosphere is a Thai atmosphere. The music used is Thai music. Name of the song, Lao Dam Non Kwayan. <laughs> but Thai people like to call it a song. Wow. Lao Duang Duan. Author is Princess Maha Chakri Sirindhorn Krom Min Phai Chai Hintharadam. Son of King Chulalongkorn, the king of Thailand, Rama V. Mm. He composed this song mm -hmm. when he traveled in the northeastern region with mm -hmm. a wagon and thought of the woman who was his first love, is Princess Chamchuan at Chiang Mai. So he composed this song while riding a cart to his destination. Okay. We want the whole world to know that. Cambodians began to wear a Thai dress, wrapped in sabai very well. After watching the Thai drama Bufafanawat, very famous Ooh. a few years ago. You guys, um, I also saw this. I also saw this. I saw, um, I saw a lot of you guys also talking about the movie that, um, <laughs> that the Cambodians watched. And I saw all of that. I saw the comment section. Wow. You see, what, what, most of what you guys were saying is already what this video, what this video is, 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 is still explaining further. But this, this begs the question, which is which? Cambodians, I really want to see you come out in the comment section. Send me links. If the, you know, the, that was what I was talking about. You know, I was talking about that other last video. The person came with receipts. This person too is coming with receipts. Honestly, in this our day and age, receipts is what gives you that pass. I want to see your receipts. Like, if you can bring them out. Like, if you can point me to a video where it shows Cambodians, where the original, you know, owner of all of this. I would be more than happy to come back here to watch it. I would, like, I'm intrigued. I really now want to know more about this. I also saw some, um, I saw some Cambodians. Will I say Cambodians now? Because I wasn't sure. So I don't say what wasn't. And I still see, I saw people say, that Thailand, you know, copied Indians. The comment sections were wild. They're like, you're accusing Cambodians of copying you as Indian ever accuse you of copying them. I'm like, I really want to dive deep. I really want to know more about this. After that, claiming Thai clothes, claiming Thai culture, belonging to one's own nation began to occur immediately and accused Thailand of being a thief who stole Cambodian culture. Nowadays, false information, bringing images of ancient Thai women, then claimed to be a Cambodian woman, mm. image retouching, fake news, wow. that Cambodians try to create in the world of internet. <laughs> happens a Did you see? How can those days, as ancient as those days was, have AC? <laughs> How can they have air conditioner? <laughs> Oh my god. A lot. Yeah, and quirk. the days are endlessly heavier. Mm. We Thai people need to clarify. Let the people of the world know the mm. truth that is happening. You don't have to believe us. But think logically. Use factual mm. evidence as a judge. Then you guys mm -hmm. will get the answer yourself. Thank you for amazing. watching this clip. If friends like this clip, please press like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell in order not to miss a good story in the next clip. For this clip, I have to leave first. See you again in the next clip. Say what decrup. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Everyone is bringing facts. Everyone is backing up their claims. Yo. <laughs> oh, now it has gotten even more interesting. It has gotten even more interesting. Um, I want to see more. You know, let's 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 go back and talk. Oh, it's been it's been one it's been one story another and after another. It's been one learning and unlearning, and I really want to know <laughs> this fight. It's 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 it just occurred to me that this has been happening since. Okay, because after watching that Marvel Thailand video, that was just done like days ago. But now this one is like eight months ago. It's been it's this 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 would I, would I even call it a fight? 
I don't even know if it's, it's I don't think it's a fight, but this has been happening for a while now. Wow. I did enjoy this and I hope you did too. Here are today's Instagram and YouTube shout outs. Thank you so much for being a member of Clever Nation, for staying active on the platform and for supporting my journey. If you want to be featured next, all you need to do is to follow me on Instagram. Kiss my Instagram handle right here. I leave a comment for my latest post or you subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment on today's video. Guys, if you know you have any other recommendations, you have suggestions, you know the drill. Please leave it right now in the comment section. If you know that you enjoyed this as much as I did, smash the like button. Share the video, you guys, and join the squad, join the gang by clicking on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss when I buy a play video. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed. I love you. I love you so, so, so much. And thank you for always watching. Bye, guys.